Okay, so it's just gonna be a quick video. Um, how to set up your phone for flashing a hero ROM, and then I'll show you how to flash that. I'm gonna use MLIGN 3.0. It's a hero ROM that's given me the least problems so far. Um, okay, so you're gonna start on the recovery screen. This is Amon Raw recovery image 1.3.2. I was already doing some stuff earlier. I don't want to restart it. Um, I'll link you to this if you don't have it yet in the sidebar. So you're gonna start by pretty much want to wipe everything. Uh, start with the data wiping done. Wipe your whatever. Just basically get everything uh, cleaned up. Yeah. Um, so now you're going to want to partition your SD card. And uh, Eamon Raw's latest update was a really nice, I don't know what to call it. But you can do it, it's cool. Um, so I'm gonna press home to confirm that. Set the uh, swap size. I'm gonna use 96 megabytes for the Linux swap. Um, press home to okay that. Uh, your ext2 size, you, can, you know, change that. Use 512. And the rest is gonna go to FAT32. Press home to confirm that. Okay. Um, and then I'd go for ext3. Uh, a lot of people recommend it. Seems to work a little better for me. I don't know. Let me do that now. Alright. That's all done. So then, uh, you're gonna want to put your hero ROM update zip file on your memory card. So just take this out. Alright, so now that we've got that on there, stick it back in here. Uh, you can also do this with a USB cable. You just go to USB MS toggle. Okay, so you can, whoops, flash your image. There it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, MLIGN Hero 3.0. Okay, so we're gonna flash that. Uh, home to confirm. It's gonna start up. And we'll get back to this when it's done. done a couple minutes later let's go back and uh, I'm gonna reboot now yeah. main menu reboot there I am. all right so that's gonna take a couple minutes to boot up put up a stopwatch Started a few seconds late, but let's just give us a general idea. Um, Alright, seven and a half minutes for that. Um, 
so I'm just gonna go through the setup really quick and then probably just restore my backup once I'm done and then show you a little bit maybe maybe I'll do it in another video I don't know all right so next um, I'm not gonna do that right now Facebook and Twitter, Flickr. I'll do that off screen too. Uh, and we're done with the setup. Uh, it's a home screen load now. Uh, I look bored. Try act like I'm having more fun. Alright, there it is. Loading now. So here we are, probably still going to be a bit chuggy, but still, you know, getting everything set up, you can see there, that was pretty slow, alright, pretty much good now, yeah, nice and smooth, I'm going to go ahead and uh, restore my backup for this ROM that I had, uh, that I made a couple days ago, or yesterday, before I flashed a different ROM. So then, once that's done, um, I'll show you the ROM. Alright, the phone's booting back up. I just restored my backup. Uh, see how long it takes this time. Hopefully not as long. Yeah, so it took like less than two minutes. Um, still loading everything up now. Oh. Yeah. Transparent lock screen on there. Um so here it is. Let's see. Alright. Gonna just get all ready. Alright, stuff sinking up there. There's a uh, weather. Pretty nice. Got some RSS feeds from uh, any RSS reader. Oh, is that email again? Homework. Um, so yeah, here's the ROM. Nice and smooth. keep this ROM running fast. You're gonna want to download this. Advanced Task Killer. It's a free version. And basically it'll just load a list of all the apps that are running. And it gives you the option to kill them. So that frees up some memory. I usually do that when I Feel the phone slowing down a little bit. 